I can't get out because you know I love you too much, baby. This is Mel Chin, a conceptual visual artist hailing from Houston, Texas. Despite his rather lighthearted and facetious manner here in this clip of a lecture at ASU, Mel is spearheading the Fundreds Project, a nationwide creative initiative alongside Operation Paydirt in hopes of bringing a healthy justice to the soil and citizens of Louisiana. And I'll hit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today on the Planet Awesome, I'll be interviewing Mel Chin about his famous Fundreds project. Hi, Mel. Welcome to the Planet Awesome. Now, it seems you have a vision in mind for the creative basis and how it relates to the practical implications of saving Louisiana's lead-ridden soil. Um, it's a creative initiative that you call Fundreds. Can you tell us a little bit more about where this idea came from, what compelled you to do it, and what it means to you? Uh, I went down to New Orleans right after Katrina, or months afterwards, as a part of a creative team, because we came as a team to see what we could do. FEMA had done very little, obviously, so we thought, decided we, we should take a look. So we went down, and I have to say that what I witnessed is not just the devastation of the Ninth Ward, but going through all the entire city and listening to people throughout the city of New Orleans, because you tend to focus on the physical destruction. What I was witnessing and hearing was the psychological, the emotional uh, destruction that occurred as well. Here I am right now, an aged conceptual artist, being compelled to try to do something, yet neutralized or inadequate to come up with something creative, and I had to leave. But because I was so shaken by my experience, I went back. I kept going back. And what did you experience when you went there? Why I went there, I became t focused on this issue. NRDC is the National Resource Defense Council, mm -hmm. and they had an all points bulletin that had mentioned how Katrina had brought in a wave of toxic metals into the soils of New Orleans, and that was a priority. EPA said something else. EPA said it didn't get worse. So you had two very different uh, messages. So I had to go to one expert, a toxicologist, pharmacologist. And Dr. Milkey, I asked him directly. He responded. He said, well, to my surprise, he said the EPA was correct. So if the EPA is correct in saying it didn't get worse, you have to ask the other question. And the other question was, then how bad was it? He said, probably worse in the country. Now, what are the effects of Louisiana's lead pollution on the children and the citizens? And lead and its effect on childhood education, it's a, it's a relationship to, to crime uh, cr and as far as and violent behavior is well documented. And you have a, a devastating uh, um, uh, psychological, physiological impact being perpetrated by the environment itself. And you have an orchestration and a belief that education, that no child can be left behind, that you have children that can barely be educated because of the devastating effect that, if, that got to them by the time they were three years old. So what fairness or what justice can there be? Mel, I'm talking to you right now. I'm in the middle of an interview with you. Why are you calling me? Okay, I'll call you back. Now I think the big question is, that everyone wants to know, is how much will it cost and how do you plan on fixing this? For the entire city, for 86,000 properties, it may take about $300 million. Now, that's a big chump. That's you know, a lofty that, goal. That's a hell of a <laughs> note, you know. That's what I thought. I said, wow, that's incredible. That's one day in Iraq. That's terrible. That's so much money. So thinking conceptually, I just said, well, how could we create a project where any child, any place in the, in the country could do one act, and how can we make it meaningful and make a difference? This project you're asking about is not about me. It's about setting up a, a condition or a forum for the possibility that anyone in the United States actually could actually get a template and download it and draw their own version of a $100 bill. And I said, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We'll make this much money and we'll collect all this money we pick up every single drawing that has been donated by individuals 
children that are most affected by, by lead issues. So yeah, make a funder and make a difference, right? So if we say that, then it's obligatory on my part to go pick it up. It's a pickup job, pickup and delivery. We'll deliver it to the steps of Congress and ask for even exchange. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel says there is no plan B because he doesn't feel or believe this plan will fail. When he takes it to the steps of Congress this next summer, it will either work or it won't. But it's up to us, the people, to make our creative voices heard. He wants you to know this isn't just his project. This is your project. This is your chance to get involved and make a vast impact in the lives of thousands, potentially millions of people. This is a nationwide call to action for the betterment of not only the environment, not just the lives of others, but also your own. Please take a moment to visit fundreds.org, print up some fundred dollar bills, and hold a party to save the world, reading Louisiana, as well as other places of their lead-induced soil, and making all the steps that set foot a little safer, happier, and healthier, as the one force of greatness we all are. And by the way, while we're on the subject, here is my fundred dollar bill that I'm contributing to Operation Pay Dirt the Funded Dollar Bill Project. The funded success depends on the volume of your creative action. <clears throat> Thanks to the people at Textfinity, they've come up with an easier and more efficient means for you to stay in the loop with the Funded's project as well as interact with your government about the kind of change you want to see benefiting the health and happiness of the planet. Now is your chance to get involved, text FUNDRED, that's F-U-N-D-R-E-D, to 32075, that is 32075. And join, and join. <laughs> Textfinity, the Planet Awesome, and FUNDRED as we support the valuable and necessary campaign. Thanks everyone for watching. Music and art and its quest to help the world is a powerful one. One that doesn't deserve to be watered down in its potential impact, nor taken for granted by us all. We've seen several examples of art and music that is on a quest to do something thought-provoking and helpful with legitimate concern for our world and those who inhabit it. I urge you to realize your own power and its capabilities and to embark on your own quest to make this planet a little more awesome. Remember, the planet awesome is just like your planet, because it is. Until next time, we say, Greatness, Greatness Abound! abound.